Okay, everybody, welcome to today's lesson. We are actually going to be taking a look today and reading about Mexican drug cartels. Now, if you're thinking, wait a second, did you just say Mexican drug cartels? Why are we learning about that? Okay, here's the key, and this is going to happen both today and also on Tuesday. We're looking at factors that have caused migration out of Central America and out of Mexico and into places like the United States and Canada, okay? So, with the U.S., we'll be taking a look at the illegal immigration factor because remember, there's always two things, all right? There's immigration. Immigration is where you follow the set of rules for uh, that a country has in terms of moving from your country into their country. But in terms of illegal immigration, that's when you're entering a country illegally, all right? But we're going to take a look at the factors that have caused a lot of illegal immigration coming from Mexico and also coming from countries in Central America through Mexico. And one of the things we have to take a look at when we're talking about Mexico is drug cartels. What role do drug cartels play in Mexico? What are some of the problems that they have brought to Mexico? You know, on Tuesday, we'll be taking a look at education levels and poverty in a lot of Central America and also Mexico because those are the driving factors in people trying to leave those places, okay? So that's why we're taking a look at drug cartels. Mr. McGee has not lost his mind. You're not, you don't need to be thinking, what, what has happened? Why are we learning? We're learning about what effect do they have on, on Mexico. And again, what effect do they have on Mexico, but in a broader sense, how do drug cartels, how do they cause a lot of the illegal immigration or people trying to get out of Mexico that we've seen in the last few decades, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. We take a look at this map here. One of the things I want you to notice, and you can pause this video if you need to, take a look at the map key. Because the map key is going to give you what each color means on this map of Mexico. So for instance, the yellow is the Sinaloa cartel. And so you're gonna notice, oh, Sinaloa cartel? Oh, I see yellow here. And there's some other cartels that obviously operate there. That's why those little dots are colors. But Sinaloa cartel, yellow, over here and over here. It's showing the territory that the cartels control. So for instance, if we look here, see this here? If we look, that's the Juarez cartel. So the Juarez cartel controls a lot of the state of Chihuahua. And by the way, yes, that's where you get the hairless dog that's about the size of a football and kind of looks like a rat. All right, Chihuahua is a state in Mexico. But you notice blue, the Juarez cartel. The Juarez cartel controls this area. And you notice there's some yellow dots. So that tells you that, oh, the... Sinaloa cartel also does a few operations within this area that's controlled by the Juarez cartel. Now, if, as I'm explaining this, you're asking yourself, wait a second, what is a cartel? All right, just think of the word cartel as if I said gang or mafia, all right? So if I told you, oh, hey, this is the Sinaloa gang, then you know, oh, Mr. McGee's talking about a gang. Well, how do gangs operate? They normally control territory, and they control the population in that territory through violence, kidnapping. I mean, I was, say, I was gonna say violence, kidnapping, murder, obviously murder is violent, all right? But <laughs> you know what I mean? So again, through intimidation, I should say, through kidnapping, through murder, all right? That's how they control that territory, and that's how they control the people, they make the people's lives miserable, and they care nothing about the people. Just how a gang operates, that's how a cartel operates. So no matter where you go in the world, sometimes you'll see a different name, like cartel, but just think for a second, oh, how are they operating? Oh, like a gang, or they're acting like the mafia? It's the same thing. So when you hear that word cartel, you know I'm really saying gang. So all these, this map kind of shows you the territories that the drug cartels control. If you notice, wow, they seem to have a foothold in a lot of Mexico. In fact, this brown right here means no dominant cartel presence. If you notice, that brown is 
little bit in these areas, a little bit over here, and a little bit here. That's not a lot. So drug cartels control this entire um, this entire area. A lot of most of Mexico, I should say. So they control a lot of Mexico, most of Mexico, and they cause a lot of damage. So what you're going to read uh, today, if you actually look at the module, you will have noticed that I linked an article for you to read on the problems that drug cartels cause in Mexico. So there's an article for you to read, and if you look underneath that article, there is a list of questions for you to answer. And so what I will do is I'll link the article as a Word document, and I will also link the art. I'll, le I'll link the article if Mr. McGee could talk. I will link the article as a PDF, and I'll do the same thing for the questions that go with the article. That way, if you need to print it out, some of you guys, PDF is going to be a lot easier. As usual, if you can't, if you don't have the technology to be able to open up the Word document questions and type your answers on that document and save or if you don't have a printer at all, remember, you can do the same thing before that we've done before. Take a notebook, go ahead, write your answers, make sure you put question one so I know that it's answering question one. Write your answers, take a picture of your answers. And by the way, check to make sure that the picture is clearly showing your answers. Some of the times in the past, you guys will send me pictures and it's so blurry, even when I zoom in on it, I can't see it. So make sure when you download that picture, check after you download it and check and make sure, oh, can, can Mr. McGee actually see that if Mr. McGee were to look at that, okay? So we're focusing on drug cartels, not because we like drug cartels. Drug, drug cartels are dangerous and evil. But we're taking a look at drug cartels as one factor that is causing people to leave Mexico and illegally immigrate into the U.S. and also to Canada as well, all right? So keep that in mind. Make sure you answer the questions that go along with the article. And by the way, the questions are in order. Submit the article. And if you have any questions, I'll be on conference. And of course, you can also email me as well, okay? So again, drug cartels today. Tuesday, we'll focus on poverty. and We'll go from there. Take care, guys.